everyone, I'm Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe on, on the, the go. go. So, Jen, what are we doing this time? Okay, so I feel like a real novice here, and I know Ample Hills at the Boardwalk closed a while ago, um, but now it's the Boardwalk Ice Cream. Who knew that? I did not. So we're going to go inside and take a look. You guys want to join us? So it is open. We just walked over it to is. the boardwalk from Beach Club. And the boardwalk ice cream is open. People are in there purchasing ice cream and sitting outside eating. So. And I'm not even hungry, but we're going to take one for the team. <laughs> okay, All let's right, go. Let's go. So what'd you get, Jen? Okay, so I have a little bit of information and we just got a tiny scoop of butter pecan. Apparently, Boardwalk ice cream has been open for two months. I had no clue. Yeah, I didn't know either. I mean, this kind of makes me happy because we've been missing Ample Hills. So hopefully the ice cream will be on par with that. Um, probably not because Ample Hills had all sorts of really cool, unique, different flavors. Yeah, and this was your basic. It was like yeah. strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, butter right. pecan, yeah. rainbow sherbet. Yeah, yeah. so go ahead and try so it, see how it is. It's a very it hot day. Like I said, we only got a scoop and it's probably gonna be soupy in about two minutes. So you better hurry up and eat it before it turns into lit butter pecan milk. Mm. Oh, it's cold. Well, it is ice cream, hence the part of the Oh, what you think. Part of the name, ice. I mean, it's good. I don't think it's anything special. It's nice to have an ice cream parlor back on the boardwalk, but it's definitely not ample. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's ice cream. Mm -hmm. It is interesting because the one scoop is kind of expensive for one scoop. For like so how much was the one scoop? Four fifty. Wow. Yeah. That is expensive. But they had other things like the Sundays were like six fifty, seven dollars. Hmm. So if you had a Sunday, it actually I think would be a little better price wise. But anyway, yeah, not too bad. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, well, you know, everything is more expensive at Disney. Okay, so cream included. This was totally not something we planned to do. But yeah. again, it's nice to not do the parks and explore the resorts because there's going to always be something you didn't know about or you haven't tried because Disney World is constantly changing. Yeah, and especially too with things that are opening up again. Mm -hmm. Little by little, next thing you know, oh, this is open again and that's open again. Right. Didn't know, but now we do. So it's that's actually true. pretty good. So let's go ahead and enjoy our little bit of ice cream and then perhaps maybe something else right afterwards. Yes, there's mm -hmm. something else that I know just opened um, 
probably probably about two months ago as well. Okay, so little by little, it's opening. So, so we're gonna pop in somewhere else after that, and we'll include it in this vlog. Good. I was about to ask, are we gonna do a separate yes. or include it? No, we'll, we'll include, include it. it. All right. So hold on just a moment, and we'll be right back. Yes. just right off the bat that this is a very pretty margarita from an outside stand so what did you get so this is the marvelous watermelon margarita mm. from boardwalk joe's at the boardwalk resort and i asked the bartender if she would recommend this one or the sunshine and she said this one hmm. so we're going on the recommendation of our bartender Okay, and then a jalapeno stuffed hot pretzel. Jeez. Oh, because why not? Because You're on why vacation. not? <laughs> it will probably be a bad choice later. It does look really good though. It does. Yeah. It does. But seriously, how pretty is this margarita? Yeah. So is that? It's not salt on the rim, is it? Cheers, Joey. Ooh. It's definitely sugar. And it's a little bitter. Not at all what I expected. But I really like it. Does it taste like watermelon? <laughs> I'm gonna say more artificial watermelon. But it's good. Okay. It's it's really good. Alright, let me all right. try it. Cheers. Cheers, Joe. What do you think? Mm. It's, yeah, it's sweet and sour at the same time. Like you wouldn't expect the sour from watermelon. That It's the lime. I think because there's a lime in here. Oh. Yeah, there's a lime in here. So I think what you're tasting is the lime with the watermelon. Yeah, that's really actually quite nice. It's refreshing. Okay. Let me taste the um, jalapeno stuffed hot pretzel. All right. And I do want to say the margarita was $14, which is really expensive for a drink in a plastic cup at Disney. But I don't know. I, I like it. I like the mixture of the sweet and sour. And how much was the pretzel? Uh, the pretzel was six seventy nine. Oh man! Good. Wow! That is amazing. I mean, it's a hot pretzel, but. The cheese inside is all melty and gooey. You can't really see it, but you get that definite jalapeno bite. I love this. Mm. So definitely winner, winner. Mm -hmm. All right, good. All right, so Jen, what do you think of your little snacks there at the boardwalk? Okay, so I'm gonna say it was about $20 for the jalapeno stuffed pretzel and the margarita Which is expensive for a snack, but it was good. Yeah. Yeah, like the cheese inside the pretzel was all ooey and gooey Yeah, the shot that we had of you eating it 
there wasn't that much no. cheese, but there was a lot of cheese on the inside of it. And the jalapeno taste wasn't super spicy. No, it just had the it was jalapeno nice. Taste. But yeah, it was nice. It was good. And then the watermelon margarita was tasty. It, it was. was. Good. Yeah, so, you know, not too bad. So it's just nice to see things opening back up at Disney, especially Agreed. on the boardwalk, because so much was closed on the boardwalk. I mean, yeah. think about it. Flying Fish still isn't even open. Yeah, yeah. Jelly Rolls isn't open. Um, so it was it was just nice to try something different. The boardwalk ice cream was just okay. Really Miss Ample Hills. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of options, expensive, and not nearly as delicious. I mean, it was good. It was good. It was but, good, but yeah. nothing I would go out of my way for. But the margarita stand, I'd go back. Yeah, yeah. I would get that jalapeno pretzel again. Yeah, that it was, was good. good. Mm -hmm. So it was a nice snack. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So again, don't don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone and do something other than a park. I can't stress that enough. Yeah. The four parks are great and we love them, but there's just so much more to Disney. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the next Jen and Joe on the go action because we could be eating hot pretzels, stuffed with jalapeno cheese. We could be drinking margaritas or we could be eating ice cream. You just never know. You never know. I mean, it's it's a nice day today. There's it lots is. we could be doing. Yes. There's a lot, lots that we are doing. So yes. keep tuning in. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.